Hello everyone, welcome back. I am Bogmod. We are at it again. Still, well, we're considering our eventual attacks into our friendly foe, Yugoslavia. Mm. It'll be good though, once we, once we conquer them. We're working on it right now. We have our, our Tramp in Africa focus. Hmm. And then we get the choice. We could... We could support Nationalist Spain. Uh, making uh, them like us more. Which could allow us to make an alliance with them later. Hmm. Making fascists stronger over there. This is inflictual politics. They would like fascists more. Or we go for the fun stuff with war. I'm leaning towards the war. Claims on Yugoslavia. Yeah. Ooh, more infrastructure, not bad. Prospect for oil. Cert. Mm -hmm. Get get eight oh eight oil. That's not bad. Not quite what I want to spend my time on though. Excavation done. Ooh, hold on. Hold on a moment. First of all, we got Triumph in Africa. So we got plus 20% national unity. Very nice. 85%. Excellent. We've got the anti common turn pact. Germany proposed that we sign a pact for recognition that the aim of the common international, known as the common turn, is to disintegrate and subdue existing states by all the means of its command. Convinced that the toleration of interference by the common international. Uh, in the internal affairs of the nations only endangers their internal peace and social well-being. It is also a menace to the peace of the world. Desires of cooperating in the defense against commerce subversive activities. I want to join it. I'm not a fan of those Soviets. We've also got excavation now. So, resource gain efficiency up to 10%. Which will be good for us. I'm going to take an Air Doctrine, I think. So we got, you can have Strategic Destruction, great for hitting factories. Battlefield Support. Or Operation. I'm going to take Battlefield Support. Yeah. That's what my focus is going to be on. Fighter de Detection. So let's research one of those. We'll get some, some of that going. We're also going to pick our claims on Yugoslavia now. Because we want, we want to eat Yugoslavia. Yes. No, oh, they're trying to, they're trying to arm up a little. That's fine. We're not afraid of them. Not one bit. Not one eye out. In fact, in preparation of this, I'm going to make a plan. Yes. Oops. Um, I want to edit that. Yeah, I want to have them kind of go like this. All right, let's see how this advances. Mm, yes. Yes, that's good. That's good. By the time Belgrade falls, then yep, yep, then what I'll do. I'll create a second offensive line. That I can take the rest of it. So once they take this, they'll move on to that. Yes. Nineteen divisions assigned to that. Twenty divisions assigned to that. 
Hmm, hello. Uh, yeah, let's take... Interest, motorized, light aircraft, and naval, not naval, ship designer, tank designer from Fiat. Hmm. Political power gain, drift defense, trade deal opinion factor plus 10%. Ooh, military, ooh, war industrialist. Faster production. Is there anything that gives more civilian production? Ooh. Here we are, we got the, uh, our electronics. In the age when electrical machines can no longer only really warm and light us? I was thinking, communicate. It's going to be the key to military intelligence in the coming century. And then I'll get myself... Mm, right, no. Mechanized computing. Takes a little longer, but anything that boosts my research is good in my books. Mm -hmm. Chief of Army, maneuver specialists, morale, defense. And I'm gonna take this guy, I'm making my guys a little bit faster, maybe. Hmm. It's hard to choose sometimes. You also have these you can you can modify, letting you kind of kind of shape your your government form like limited conscription, and I could have extensive conscription, doubling my uh, military base, but uh, it takes a little longer to train. Armor research time 10% faster. Armor. Okay. Small arms research time. I. Mm, motorized equipment. I'm very torn. Because I don't really know what's better. I want to take motorized. Made a choice. Sometimes you just gotta make your choices. guys waiting on. Then 2% trained. Alright. 6th of Feb. Ooh, there we are. Synthetic oil experiments. So we can now build oil refineries. They take a little while, but they can be worth it. Mm. Oh. Well, 1937 now. I think. I think it is time. Yeah. Ooh. Cautionary Industry 2. Tough choice, tough choice. Construction speed up 10%. That's what I want first. Construction 2. Anything to get this building faster, right? Yeah, this is how many of our, our factories currently uh, are devoted towards. So one out of every five factories we build goes towards the people. And their greedy needs, those greedy people. So it's kind of a, a hilly province. It's good because I'm I'm bringing over special soldiers to kind of specialize in in the Alpine. There we go. Yes, it would be perfect. Perfect. A few more days. We get that our claim on Yugoslavia. I'm sure the Germans will be soon busy. Let's see, anti-common turn pack, nothing much, nothing much. 
piece you guys out of the... Hmm. Hard to say, hard to say. No divisions in training, eh? Hmm. Hmm. It might be time to train up uh No, I don't think I don't think I need that. I'm gonna train one of those. No. Train two of my tanks. My tank units. I'm gonna trade another five of them. Yeah, that's plenty. This is going to be a, a terrible thing. Oh, there we are! There's still a significant Italian population in Yugoslavia, dating back to the glory days of Venice, at least. These reasons to Italian rule is an important step towards recreating the Roman Empire. Ah, yes. So I think I'm going to take... Got claims in Yugoslavia, so we're going to do that. And while we're doing that, I'm going to get army primacy going. Industry Italy is still lying behind the, dec uh, the decadent colonial empires. To prioritize the army or the navy. Like ancient Roman Empire dependent legions, so must the new Italian Empire. Oops. Anyhow, so we've got our army primacy going. And now... So here's what I'm going to do. First of all, first things first. I'm going to give you guys... Search and destroy in the selected region. Oops. Uh, yes. So they're gonna we're gonna send them into the Adriatic to hunt down enemy ships. I'm going to use my... these guys to convoy raid. So that's kind of... we're, we're going to keep any goods from getting into the Balkans here. That's my goal. We've already assigned some planes into this region from Rome. Yep. Uh... Now we got some planes in, in the Alpine region as well, which are going to help us get that first initial attack in. Uh, what button do I want to press for this? I can't remember. Uh... These guys, these are the ones I want. So they're at, they're, most of them are at the 80% that I want them to be at. I've got 21 divisions all lined up and ready to go. We estimate the military strength uh, of them at 15 to 30. Hmm. I think perhaps we might need a few more. Put you over there. And you three. Oops. That's not the one I wanted. I wanted... That, I think. There we are. So they'll kind of they'll kind of balance back out. Oops. There we are. It's control! I keep hitting the wrong tab sometimes. There we are. We'll shift a little more military might over that way. Mm -hmm. Alright. 35 divisions. Yes, I think we're ready to do this. Let's declare war, I suppose. Yeah. Diplomacy. No war goal to... What? Don't I get to justify war? What, what happened?
Gain claim on Slovenia and Dalmatia. Lose claim on Slovenia. So do I still have to justify? Take claimed states. Ah, this world will cost 26 political power. All right. Conquer. Oh, we'll, we'll go for this to start. Mm. Yeah. So we're justifying a war goal? Yeah. Which will take us a little while. Mm, 130. Ah, 130 days. No, oh, there we are. Sorry. I like I said, I'm very new to this. <laughs> it's the first that's the first time I've ever justified a war goal on anybody. Mm. How's my tech coming? Not bad. Not bad at all. Mm. Motorization is quicker. Industry research faster. Grand battle plans are faster. Yeah. Yeah. As our boats sliding through each other, it's pretty sexy. Mm, they still haven't really reinforced things. It's hard to say exactly what their are like. When I look at their details, yeah, they might be actually rather weak. They might be a little stronger. Um, these are estimates based on our ability to decrypt and spy. Let's take a actually you know what? Let's take a look at our construction no productions. How are things coming? Got another couple battleships. Oh okay. Yeah, that's being worked on. Being worked on. I'm gonna add another uh, boat ship thing, I think. Hmm. Uh let's see what do I want? Well, let's take a look at my, my tech again. See what kind of boats would be the best boats to be boating with. Hmm. Interesting. Not bad. Battle cruiser. No carriers. Hmm. Okay, we do have transports. Uh, hmm. Special about this guy. Toronto class. Heavy cruiser. What's oh, a heavy cruiser, I think? Yes. Okay. Mm. I think we'll take the uh, the heavy cruiser. Mm -hmm. Add nail production. Zara class. There we are. Yeah. Actually, you know what? No, nope, I don't. Want, I don't want an infinite number of you. I want two of you. Yeah. That seems like a good number. Yeah, I know. I need I need more production. I know, game. I'm working on it. Kind of being as much as I can for the moment. Uh, let's see. What do I want to modify? 
Yeah, tank designer. Political advisors. Oh, here we are. Fighter detection up, because we got formation flying. Cool. Ooh, actually. See, it's 1937 now. Hmm. A little long still on those. Hmm. Oh, hold on. Benito Mussolini questions Yugoslavian sovereignty. Who determines the borders of a nation how they are determined? Whatever way people may have found in the past to justify where it ends and Yugoslavia begins, we live in a new era. The strategic importance of this border cannot be overstated, and we are well within our rights to shift to ensure the continued security of our people. Listening to speeches, an invasion of Yugoslavia appears imminent, descending voices of objective, but public support for the war is on the rise. Alright, they get, they get an event where they're like, meh. Oh. Also, we finished that. Well, this is definitely pause. So we got more building slots, more military factories, more army experience. All wonderful things. Hmm. Let's see. Could modernize. Get a bonus to our support artillery research. Hmm. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take the modernized artillery. The Regio Esercito is, in theory, one of the largest armies in the world. Unfortunately, there's no way we can equip all those men properly. So most of our military is from 1918. Oh, that's terrible. Well, let's get the radio, too. That's going, that's going. Alright, well. I think we're ready to start our war. Ooh, hold on. Free military factories. Right. Well, we know we're going to be using a lot of that. Um. Well, I'll spend an extra support. Because I'll be, I'll be adding in those recon units soon. But I think it is now time to begin our plan. Our wonderful master... Well, actually, no, no, no. We'll wait till... We'll wait till next day. We'll wait till the next time I play, and... Well, are they starving? They are. Alright, well... Uh, we apparently, uh... Austrian soldiers are starving in the Alps right now. Anyhow, we will uh, we will launch our war into Yugoslavia next time. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all very soon.